Hi Sagittarius, welcome in. Page of Cups. This is a new love offer coming towards you. Ooh, the Chariot, the Sun, Nine of Wands. You've really been through a lot, Sagittarius. Nine of Wands, the Chariot, the Sun. I'm seeing some, I feel like I'm seeing a time in your life coming up where you're not having to constantly just keep moving through the energies. Like, I see true happiness for you here in the future. And I'm talking to a Sagittarius that you feel like you have really been going through it or you've really been through a lot in your life. And it's like the energy just felt like it was like, when is it going to stop? Oh. Um, there's going to be a moment of peace happening here for you. Be a Leo or a Cancer, someone with those energies coming towards you. Long time coming, Knight of Pentacles. You've really been dedicated, working on yourself. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you ain't looking back. This is to the Sagittarians that you're no longer looking back to the past. You know what I mean? And, and what I mean by that, you're no longer going back to it, okay? You've come too far with the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. And you have new love, like you're attracting new love here. I feel like this person's already around you, already in your energy. Or they will be today, very soon. Ten of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Emperor and then the Eight of Swords. So something really stable coming into your life. You have a stable offer coming in, possibly from a Leo or an Aries Sagittarius. It could be another Sagittarius Cancer, or they just have those placements. I see a mature person versus what you've dealt with in the past, like the Knight of Wands in reverse. You're no longer going to be attracted. I don't think you're even attracting these players. You have like F off written on your forehead. You have like this energetic field around you that is... Like basically saying, keep off, <laughs> okay, stay back, right? It's like players are not even going to be considering talking to you right now with this energy you're embodying because you do come across as someone who is like, they know they have to come to you correctly. Okay, and that's exactly what's happening here. Because you're worthy of this. Versus I feel in the past, you know, you weren't so sure. Because you were dealing with cold-hearted, indecisive, inappropriate people who kept you stuck. And for some of you guys, it was time and time again. So what I'm saying for you, Sagittarius, yeah, look at this. Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. Neglected, abandoned. All of this caused you to work on yourself. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, okay? Really mastering yourself, mastering your emotions. And so you're embodying this emperor energy, which that just tells me you're attracting this emperor energy. Do you have players looking at you? Yes, but they're scared of you. Nine of Wands. I feel like you do have these player energies. Those of you who go out to places where people congregate, those of you who are, you know, possibly in school, work, what have you, wherever you're going with this Three of Pentacles, there are people that are attracted to you and attracted to their your energy, but you intimidate the heck out of them. They're not going, I don't even see them really, I see them just getting as, only as far as looking at you. Page of Pentacles, Six of Wands. 
you are getting a lot of attention though. That's the thing. Like people are focused on you. You might notice even when you go out in public that people just kind of turn and look at you. It's because of your aura. You radiate this. I've been through H-E double hockey sticks and back energy. I've been through it. But you're standing in your power. You are, you are a magnet for people. But I feel like at the same time, there are certain people who see you as above them or that you have high standards and they're just not up for the challenge. So therefore, those people are going to be kind of keeping a distance from you versus you have this emperor energy that wants something stable and solid that knows they have to come to you correctly making an offer. Is what I'm going to predict for you. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancerian, air energy is here. Yeah, this is your just do for everything you've been through. This new beginning, there's communication coming in, possibly from a Scorpio or a Libra for some of you, but a lot of change, night and day difference from what you've been dealing with because you guys have done your healing, the star, the king of cups, you've done your healing. You're no longer going to be an open door. Three of wands, the knight of wands, I'm sorry, king of wands. You're no longer going to be an open door just for sexual encounters or, you know, superficial relationships that only end up hurting you in the long run. People who are selfish, nine of cups, two of pentacles, indecisive, because you know you what you deserve. You've done a lot of healing and a lot of reflecting on what you want. Ten of Cups, Queen of Swords. And that's a try. You're manifesting a connection here. I see a new love offer coming in. What else for Sagittarius? Let's get you an angel number. Now, for those of you who are going to tell me that, I don't know, you know, that you're just not there yet, you could be. Here's your sign. You know what to do. Give me an angel number for Sagittarius. You have a master number, 33. You're evolving. You're expanding, okay? There are a lot of positive changes that you're manifesting in your life, Sagittarius, and it all has to do with you. You could be seeing three, specifically 33. That's a confirmation for you. Any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened because you are embodying this beautiful energy. You're coming into alignment, you're, you're in sync with what it is you want, because not only are you visualizing it, you're feeling it and you're taking appropriate action toward it. You're attracting something here. It's going to be different for all of you. But you're expanding, you're growing, you're learning the lessons, right? Moving on, moving forward. I'm seeing you have an aha moment. If you haven't recently, you're about to. There's some sort of aha moment happening here. Rainbows could be significant to you. Horseshoes. Okay, so the card says good luck, but you know, you did the work, so is it really luck? But I mean, it's just a figure of speech. But this is about you attracting everything you want because you are learning to walk in this high value energy. You know what you want. The universe wants to give it to you once you know. Celebration, fun, enjoyment. You're learning how to enjoy the process, okay? You're learning how to... So I heard a, I heard someone say one time, and I'm probably going to butcher this, but it's like those of us who actually enjoy 
How do I want to say that? When you enjoy the ride and not the destination, that brings you so much more fulfilling energy, okay, basically. So it's like you're enjoying the process. Changes in your life. This has a lot to do with changes happening for you here. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. So for some of you guys, there's an emotional blockage that's getting removed. Because you've, you've had an aha moment. Or you will. Give me one more. Eagle, triumph over your troubles and obstacles. Birds, hawks, things like that are going to be significant. I'm actually seeing like a hawk fly past you or fly over you here. It's just, this just a sign to, it's, it's just a, um, a reminder that you're expanding, you're evolving, you're learning, you're getting it. And it's attracting beautiful changes into your life. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Engagement ring. So this tells me there's a union coming in, if not already happening. If you guys are with someone right now, that's what they're thinking about. They're thinking about a higher level of commitment. So those of you that are single, there's someone coming in. That's what they're looking for. Okay. Could be blending families with someone I specifically heard, but it doesn't have to be the case. Yeah, because you've been focusing on self, this is what you're attracting. You focus all of that energy on yourself. You take all of your energy away from everyone else, and it makes you a magnet for your manifestations. That's what you're doing. I'm actually getting, y'all don't even have to try. Some of y'all just don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, and I say that the best possible way. I feel like you guys are focusing on, you're committed to yourself. You're, you know, this engagement ring, self indulge just like you've made a promise to yourself to put yourself first. And you're actually walking in this energy of putting yourself first. And it's attracting so many beautiful things to you because the thing is Sagittarius, if you are someone who's like, I want someone to love me. I want someone to treat me well. I want someone to take me out and do all these wonderful things. Are you doing that to yourself? Are you giving that to yourself? You are. The Sagittarius I'm talking to, you are or you're about to. So you giving yourself all of these beautiful things is going to attract someone who wants to do that as well. The law of the universe. And we have camera here. So, you know, it's not like you forget the past. Like you've learned from the past, you know. And you keep that close to you because it's a reminder, but at the same time, you don't hold on to it tightly. And this is just a reminder, Sagittarius, that it's okay to still think about the past. I'm, I'm, by no means am I telling you to forget it. Because it has shaped you to be who you are today. You've learned important things. So don't forget the past. But make sure you did learn something from it, which you have. You've learned a lot. Ascending. Bingo. Beautiful. This is all about you transcending obstacles, okay? You're expanding. You're, you're about to enter a new phase. And all of this energy is preparing you for, if you care, not everyone wants to be in a relationship. I get it. But for those of you that do want to be in a relationship, all of this self-love, commitment to self, is preparing you for union, a new phase in your life. can even be work for some of you guys, whatever your particular situation is. Okay, you've definitely grown a lot. Beautiful. 
with that horseshoe, I also feel like this is what I got. Your energy is so pure, or it has been, like you could have easily seeked revenge, you could have easily went down a dark way, and you chose not to. And it's like that horseshoe, you have created luck, so to speak, for yourself, but it's really just good karma. And so the universe wants to give to you the energy that you have been giving out, because it's like, I'm talking to a Sagittarius, it's like you choose to love even when people don't necessarily deserve it from you, right? I heard Capricorn. Hearing Capricorn. The letter M could be significant to some of you. Some of you guys may have mother issues. Single Sagittarius. Single Sagittarius. Who doesn't? <laughs> Just kidding. Single Sagittarius. bypass all the shuffling who's coming toward my single Sagittarians who's coming toward my single Sagittarians could be a Virgo could be an earth sign why are they the hermit Give me a second, Sagittarius. Sorry these readings are a bit slow today, but it is what it is. This person coming towards you is very con in control of themselves. That's something that's standing out to me. Very in control of themselves. Like, I'm getting military vibes or... They could work in law enforcement for some of you guys. I'm just getting like some type of authority of some kind. This could just be their personality for some of you. Some of y'all, the devil. Some of you guys, I don't know why I feel this person's in law enforcement or they deal with the bad guys. That could mean anything. That's just how it's coming to me, guys, okay? I'm also getting, I don't know why I'm getting specific professions, okay? Some uh, medical field, healing, some sort of healing. They carry many wounds. They've been through a lot, whoever they are. Like, I I'm getting like this person has really faced their demons, their shadow side. They've been through a lot. I'm also getting they do have some regrets in life that they hold on to. Some things that they've done that they don't necessarily think, think is the best. Okay. Let's 
Someone could have a military background or they come from a family like that. Yeah, guys, I don't know. These are so specific. This person specifically has may have, have come encounter with some things that most people don't. And with the hermit being here, I feel like that does that has caused this person to be some type of way, right? They're really standoffish, like they're really held back from people. And they can be a little avoidant too here with the two of swords. Could be a Scorpio for some of you. Now, they could have just been through some things that have caused them to be this way. But how you're going to know who this person is, they're kind of standoffish. But at the same time, they kind of, they, they, they walk, they stand tall. Okay, and, and you know, they're very in control of, they're very disciplined and in control of themselves. Or at least they pride themselves in that, like they want to be that way. Someone could be a pilot. But they could have their pilot license. These specific messages are coming out, guys. I gotta say them. Yeah, I'm getting like a pilot of some kind or like I'm definitely really into vehicles or cars here. As you know, I heard I'm fast as I'm fast as F boy. <laughs> I'm fast as F boy. <laughs> I don't know if y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. I get messages in the weirdest way. Yeah, this person has traveled a lot. They've seen a lot. They've done a lot. They're ready to settle down. Ace of Wands. Very attractive. Like, this is someone who's pretty... They could be tall. Taller than you. I don't know why I'm getting tall. Okay. Okay. King of Swords, Strength card. So look, this person carries some baggage with them, but I don't think it's baggage like it's not a past relationship. It's baggage as in they've seen a lot, they've done a lot. Okay, they've really been through some things here. It took a lot of... It took a lot for them to get where they are now. Let's just say that. I, this is definitely someone who is like older. Okay, oh, I don't know how much, I don't know if they're older than you, but it's just telling me they're definitely older. They're not somebody who has just started in life, for sure. This is someone who is very seasoned. They've seen a lot. They've been through a lot. They've done a lot. Specifically getting their tall. They could be, even if it's a woman, like tall for whatever. I'm not getting into that. Um, but they're very attractive, okay? And this is also someone who I feel like they've either, they could just play video games. Messages are really weird today, y'all. But I'm getting like pilot vibes, okay? Military. Empathic, too. Like they consider other people's feelings. All right. Could be a Leo or an air sign. I also have Virgo and um, almost said Aquarius, but I meant to say Cancer. Okay, let's take a look at the new person. So for those of you that already have someone new in your mind, how does this new person see Sagittarius right now? Tarot can be literal or figur figurative. Okay, just saying. Um, they okay. How do they see Sagittarius? They see you as someone who has a lot of integrity. Okay, like you embody this Libra energy, this justice energy. Like you value truth. I don't know why they know this about you, but they. Or they will. Six of Pentacles. You're a very nurturing and giving individual. But you're also specific with who you give your energy to. So this 
is like someone who's honored. Like they're honored just for you to give them some sort of energy their way. They feel honored. King of Cups in reverse. Hmm. When it comes to you, they doubt themselves. You make this person question themselves, doubt themselves. Ten of Wands, King of Cups in reverse. They do feel a little unstable, uneasy, emotionally unstable. When it comes to you, and what I mean by that, it's like they can't necessarily read you, especially with them seeing you as the Justice card. Like, you do come across as someone who's fairly honest. But at the same time, like... I'm just getting these two sides to you that they're aware of. They do see you as balanced, though. Like, you're, you're, you're very... The sides balance each other out very well. Six of Pentacles, Justice. A lot of... They see you as someone who is very balanced. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, like, you have it together. And they're over here so unsure of themselves. Four of Cups, Nine of Swords. So someone who's, I don't think this person is typically unsure of themselves, but when it comes to you, they are. I don't, like, it's almost like this person wonders if they have enough to offer you or if they would just, if they, like, add value. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, this person wonders if they could even add value to their your life. Okay, Nine of Cups in reverse. I do feel like this person knows... Okay, so here's the thing. This is weird, but this is what I'm getting. Nine of Cups in reverse. Like, this person knows that they're typically selfish with their time and energy and all of that. But there's something about you that makes them reflect on that. There's something about you that makes them want to be a better person. Because we have the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups. So they haven't really been trusting of other people when people enter their life, but it's like as you enter your as you enter their life, they start to want to trust again, believe again. Look at that. Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. Okay. Page of Wands. Kind of like you inspire them to open back up. But again, they kind of feel as if they wonder if they have enough to offer you. Or if they would just burden your life for some of you. They don't want to drag you down is what I'm trying to say. Because they see you in such this high, they see you in like a high vibing light. And it's like they wonder if they would just drag you down. Page of Cups. They're holding back offering you something because of this the moon their fears their anxieties judgment two of cups they don't want to hold back there they want a chance with you this is just someone guys they feel unworthy they're like why would sagittarius want me high priestess your intuition is telling you everything you need to know about this situation, okay? The world. You don't need a you don't need a reading. It's fun to watch, but I feel like, you know, you you know what's going on. Maybe you're trying maybe you're having a hard time trusting your intuition, but I feel like this is your confirmation. Tell me more. Give me one more card. Queen of Swords, yeah, they're, they're, okay, I hate to say this, but, yeah, it's almost like they're terrified of you, they're terrified of you, <laughs> okay, is how it's coming to me, Queen of Swords, and we have the Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, 
you're just making them rethink a lot. I don't even, I don't, I don't even know if you're aware of this, but you're making this person rethink their whole life. Okay. Or their whole, you're just making them rethink the way they are, the way they live. What do they want to say to Sagittarius? I'm going to pull tarot for this. Oh. The lovers, temperance. What they want to tell you is they want to be close to you. Temperance is your energy. Get the lovers here. We got Sagittarius and Gemini. Someone could have those signs in their chart, but what they want to tell you, Sagittarius, is they wish to be close to you. Your energy is beautiful to them. Okay. The full. They want to go all in. They want to take that leap of faith. But again, guys, uh, that terrifies them. Okay. This is someone that knows that I feel like they, they, they're there's definitely some throat chakra blockages here, but Sagittarius, this is, this person knows that they don't want to say anything wrong. I'm just saying like, this person is afraid to say the wrong thing to you. Okay. They don't want to mess it up. They don't, wanna, I don't know. I mean, I do know, <laughs> but I don't know. Okay. But I'm just getting like this person is afraid to say, it. they don't want to miss a chance. They're afraid to say the wrong thing and then push you away. Okay. Overthinking it. That's why you haven't, I'm talking to someone who hasn't actually gotten a legit offer from this new person yet. Well, there's, that's why. And if you have, like, there's still definitely the energy of them wanting to be close to you and feeling as if they're not good enough for you. Or feeling as if, you know, they wish they could. I'm getting like someone doesn't want to burden or drag you down. Burden your life with their problems, okay? So this is their judgment call to do some inner healing. All right. Will they figure it out? I think so. Ten of Swords in reverse, Knight of Cups says yes. King of Pentacles. This is beautiful. You really provoke some type of feeling in this person that makes them want to be better, do better, you know, let go of things that no longer serve them. Just saw the Ace of Cups again. It's like a heart chakra awakening there. Okay. Let's take a look at the current slash past person. And see what's going on there. What deck do I want to use? Let's use my, my good old oldie deck. Oldie but goodie. Those of you who don't know, this was my very first deck ever. And I have worn the heck out of it. <laughs> okay. I still use it. I still have a special connection to it. What happened in the past between Sagittarius and this person? The next round of all signs, I'm not all signs, individual sign readings, by the way. I'm probably going to um, do them a little bit quicker. I'm probably going to do some quickies, like a little bit of quick messages, quick answers in the next one. Just, you know, heads up. Feeling called to do that, kind of like to the point readings. Okay. What happened in the past? Five of Wands. Jealousy issues, okay, for some of you guys. But the Five of Wands, generally speaking, is drama. It's a struggle. It could be some petty energy, like mind games as well. Someone refused to give up the like the games, the petty behavior. 
Two of Cups. Somebody trying to make you jealous. Is someone trying to make you jealous? What is this? Mm-hmm, they sure did. You saw the Three of Swords. Looking for a reaction from you, okay? Wanting to see if you were just going to, like, impulsively take the bait. Somebody tried to make you jealous in the past. Like, they tried to do it either with something they said or... I'm getting for a lot of you guys. It was... Yeah, look at this. Devil. This is the kind of person that does things. They provoke you. Generally speaking... This person triggered you or provoked you on purpose only to be like, whoa, 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 what is, what's wrong? What do you mean? You know, make you question your reality. Make you feel foolish. I feel like you can't trust this person. Some of you guys, this person to you would come across as risky or dangerous or... So you guys are really, uh, you know, I'm going to say it, y'all. If this is going to resonate with you, you could have been very naive. You allowed you you allowed yourself to be gullible or naive to this person. Like, you could have seen all the red flags, but just kind of flung yourself at them anyway, right? We've all been there. It's okay. I'm just trying to tell you how you're going to know if this is for you. Give me one more card. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, gaslighted you. Now, typically, that card's not what that means, but with the other energies that are out, this is someone that made you question your reality. They give you breadcrumbs, led you on, pulled back, then moved forward, hot and cold. You know, they're all over the place. Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. And then they're like, what? What? What's wrong? You good? No, I'm not good, as a matter of fact. <laughs> All right. How do they see Sagittarius? How do they see you right now? How do they see you? Two of Swords in reverse. Hmm, they're confused by you. I'm getting information overload. Two of Swords is information overload. A lot of things um, they're questioning right now, and there's a lot of there's a lot of like. Tell me more about that information overload. They're starting to see something about you. You give them anxiety. Why are they so paranoid? They're paranoid about what you know. The information you know? What do you know? Queen of Cups, wondering if you're going to be compassionate enough to keep it to yourself, maybe? Hmm. Queen of Swords. <laughs> Dang. They thought they knew you, and it's like now they're realizing they don't know who you are. There's an energy here of them questioning who you are. Or what you really know. Or what you knew the whole time. This person, when they think about you, when they look at you, they feel foolish. Like, kind of stupid is what I'm getting. It's very interesting. This is a very interesting way for someone to see you. Because it's like, once they thought they knew you, they realized they didn't. They saw another side of you. Or they, for a lot of you guys, they are paranoid that you're going to say something about them. And not even care. <laughs> not even care. Just like, say it. You're like, I don't care. I'm also getting there wondering if you care. The hanged man in reverse. This person is stalling. Okay. Okay. Creating resistance, stalling, couldn't make a decision to save their life. How do they currently feel about Sagittarius right now? Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys, it could be um, an Aries. 
I also have water and her. How do they feel? What is this? This person is sick. Ace of Wands. Their feelings for you are, are getting stronger because you're in this powerful, they see you as someone who has leverage or power over them in some shape or form. Meaning like maybe you just took your attention away. It could be as simple as that. Okay. This person has love for you. Desire. Comes from a place of selfishness, though. I feel like this comes from a place of, like, okay, the Empress, then we have the Six of Wands. They want you so bad right now, Sagittarius. But let me tell you why. You outsmarted them, or they think you have. Some of y'all don't even know what I'm, Some of y'all, this person has created this movie or this something in their head that makes them think you have outsmarted them in some shape or form. Or that you hold some type of leverage over them. And do you know that made their feelings for you grow? Yeah, all they can think about is you. Okay. <laughs> okay. They want to win. This is a game. Or it was. Tell me more about this. Ace of Pentacles. I just get... get this energy of somebody wanting to conquer you or it's kind of like this person loves the game. They love the game and the way it's almost like you played them at their own game or they think they, they, they have this impression that you did. Okay. Some of y'all don't, some of y'all don't even know what I'm talking about, but there's a large portion of you Sagittarians that know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's like, that has caused this person to want to like, they're in this weird, like thinking about their next move. They're like, okay, points for Sagittarius. Let, let me think about what I'm going to do next. What are they going to do next? There's some type of reunion happening. I'll go ahead and tell you that. It's this person reaching out to you. After some thought, I feel like the four of swords, you know, this is an energy of someone feeling overwhelmed by the connection, by the leverage you have on them. So they did take a step back. Four of swords is that taking a step back energy to, you know, recuperate, uh, to relax, to, to, you know, reconsider. But the ace of pentacles, the four of wands, this is someone coming towards you. Yeah, they're coming toward you guys. The magician at its worst can be a manipulator. And considering this reading, this person is about to make a move toward you. They love the game, guys. That's what it's telling me. They love the game. And they feel even stronger for you with you inserting some sort of boundary or standing up for yourself in some sort of way. Something that you know. They want to take their power back. I see a message, page of wands. Someone's going to come across as flirtatious and innocent, but it's a mask. Ain't nothing innocent about this. They have an ulterior motive. They have a plan. They want to win. I don't know what they want to win. <laughs> okay. 
I don't know what you win in this game, but... Death and rebirth, yeah, more clarification of someone coming back from the dead here, okay? So how will they see Sagittarius when, when they return? Some of y'all are blocking them. <laughs> Some of y'all block them. Let me, okay. How will they see Sagittarius? Or, or like you have pushed them away in some shape or form. Um, very defensive. But let's see. How will they see Sagittarius upon their return? They're, they're going to be so confused. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> They're going to be so confused. Okay. You're going to give them anxiety. So this is the thing. This person's like, yeah, I have a plan. I'm going to come towards Sagittarius. Okay. They are coming towards you with some form of communication. Okay. But it's like when they get in your vicinity or when they text you or, or whatever they've reached out, they get so confused. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, what is that lyric? It's Eminem. Knees weep, palms are sweaty. <laughs> Their palms are going to be sweaty, okay? They're going to feel so weak. I'm actually getting, someone's going to feel a little stupid too if you like don't answer them. I think they're afraid. Oh. Because they see you as healed. That's why they're going to be confused. They're going to be so confused that you were able to take this, whatever this was that they brought to you and turn your life around or, or become stable. So confused how you could become stable. I don't know where you were in your life when this per when you were dealing with this person. But it's like they're so confused because they, they, they didn't think that you were, they're so different when they return. Some of you guys, they may have already, this may have already happened. Okay. Could be dealing with another Sagittarius, a Pisces, a Capricorn, an Aquarius. I have a lot of signs here, guys. An Aries, a uh, Libra, Taurus. Could be another Sagittarius for some of you. A Virgo, more Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Pisces. I got some Gemini. Libra. Okay, then. Let's see what their hidden truth is. Let's see what their hidden truth is. Thank you guys for liking the video. Let's see, what is this person's hidden truth? And I'll timestamp. Okay. I'm hearing love you, love this town, love this mother loving truck that keeps breaking loving down. That's a country song. So it's like, love you. They lost themselves for a while. I'm just, they're so confused. They're afraid to contact you. They tried to let you go. But, you know, some of you guys are still trying to let you go. They want to be more than friends. They can't just be your friend. They're comparing others to you. You got that something. They replay your conversations, interactions, okay, over and over in their head. So, you know, Sagittarius, this is someone that I feel like you made a big impact on them. You out, I hate to say it, some of y'all out manipulated this person or like you played their game and beat them at it. 
some of you Sagittarians weren't even looking to do that, but it's just like it came naturally to you or, you know, the universe may have used you to teach this person a lesson. But I'm just getting like they met their match when they met you. Okay. You're not who they thought you were. Or this like illusion or, or something. They created some sort of image of you in their mind and then they just got so confused that that wasn't accurate. Okay, Aries through Pisces for Sagittarius. Aries through Pisces for Sagittarius. Nothing need to say. Cross watchers. Yes, it could play out from your perspective, but you know, assign the roles as you see fit. Thank you guys for liking the video. I appreciate it. If you're dealing with an Aries, they're hung up on you. They haven't let you go. They can't move on. If you're dealing with a Taurus, mutual feelings, how you feel about the Taurus is how they feel about you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, a uh, Ten of Swords, I don't see much movement from that. The Gemini's held back. The Gemini would rather let this end than be the one to come forward. If you're dealing with a Cancer, the Cancer thinks you're mad at them or you hold some sort of grudge. If you're dealing with a Leo, Unexpected communication, going to catch you off guard from the Leo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're silent because they're focused on other things. If you're dealing with a Libra, they're going to reach out. I see a text coming in from a Libra. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, uh, why? The Scorpio is going to communicate from you to you, but it's just going to seem so... Robotic. I don't know. You tell me more about that. The Scorpio will communicate with you, but I'm just getting like a cold energy from the Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius. They are attracted to you. I see the Sagittarius take an action. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, they want to be single. They don't. They don't want to be in a relationship right now. They're non-committal. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're invested. Ooh. The Aquarius thinks you're their perfect match. Okay, your values align with the lover. Seven of Pentacles. You know, this Aquarius wants to be faithful to you. They love you. If you're dealing with a Pisces. Communication coming in from the Pisces. They're going to speak their truth. All right, my loves. I hope this gave you some clarity. If it did not, you can check your other signs or check back next time.